This will be a quick After Effects tutorial for doing something like this. Um, when you have a rendered 3D object and in After Effects you want to highlight it by drawing a line around it, uh, animating a stroke coming on. So if we just play this back, you can see that blue line draws on and it follows the shape of the rendered object. So this is pretty easy to do. I realize now I've got an error in here. Let me just fix that. Um, this is pretty easy to do, um, and we're using an effect called Vegas. Now I'm just going to talk about the other methods you might consider for doing something like this and why they probably won't work. So if you look at an object like this, and let me just turn off Vegas, and you think, well, there is an effect called stroke in After Effects. And if I just search for that and apply it to this rendered layer here, you can see nothing happens here. And it's looking for a path to draw the stroke around. And it says there are no paths. And that's because in this layer, if I just turn off the background, there's no path here. There's no drawn uh, path. And what it's actually looking for is a mask. And there are no masks on here. What we have is this thing rendered at, out against transparency. So I rendered this out on its own layer. And then I just added this backdrop in later on. So I want to find a way where I can draw an edge around the alpha cutout of this object. Now there's one easy way to do it um, that has some limitations. So let's look at that. Let me just get rid of this stroke effect so we don't get confused here because we're going to add a stroke to this in a different way. So if we have this rendered layer selected and go to layer layer styles and choose stroke you can see it adds a stroke and if we just turn up the value here i'll just leave it at red so it's easy to see but now if i play the animation you can see it follows it and so this is this could be a perfect solution for what you're trying to do and you can uh, change the opacity so you, if you want that stroke to come in over time, you can do that. But what it doesn't have is the ability to draw the stroke on, um, like you could with um, the other method that we just saw. So if you know After Effects, you might th be thinking, well, you can use trim paths for this. If I just create a, a new composition and just delete these things, if I make a new shape, just make a circle and I'll turn off the fill and add a stroke so we have something like this and you know that in this layer now in this layer now we can go to add trim paths and then we can open this up and we can animate the start or end point to get something like this. But this only works when you have a drawn path. It doesn't work around the alpha channel of an object like this. So if we want a stroke that can be drawn on, the only way that I'm aware of that this will work is if we use this effect called Vegas. So if I just turn this on again, we can see it. It's following, and if I just scrub through, we can see it drawing on over time, or in this case, drawing off. So let's set this up. I'm just going to delete this one. If we go into our effects and presets and search for Vegas, you can see it's an old uh, plugin. It's only 8 bits, or sorry, an old effect. It's only 8 bits, uh, but we can still use it here. So. We want to draw the stroke around the image contours. The other option is a mask or a path. We don't have a mask or a path. Um, we want to use image contours. 
And then we have to open up the image contours here and tell it which layer to use. And we'll just use the same layer. And we can just leave it on source. Nothing seems to be happening yet. It's drawing this weird thing at some sort of threshold of brightness, it looks like. Because if we look down here, the channel it's turning to is intensity. We want to change this to alpha. And it's hard to see because it's yellow, so I'll just scroll down here and I'll change it to color that's easier to see. Now it's red, and you can sort of see it, and then we can turn up the width. Right, so if you take a look at this, it's a little strange looking. If I play the animation now, I don't think anything will happen except that it's following it. But this is meant to be like lights moving around a billboard or something like that in Vegas. The bright lights of Vegas, I guess. And we can just adapt this to work in the way that we want. So it's got 32 segments by default. We just want to have one segment. So now it's just one line going all the way around. But you can see it fades off over time. If we go down here, we've got the hardness value. So we can just turn that up to 1 to get a sharper line here. And then we can change the end opacity all the way to 1. So it's just a consistent opacity all the way through. And then I'll just reduce this value of width a little bit. And if we play the animation, then it's working just the way we want. There are a couple other settings that you could change here. Um, if we go up here, there's this tolerance value. If you turn this up, you can see it's starting to uh, make more like polygon edges here. So we just want to keep this value. Or sorry, that's the wrong one. Not the threshold, but the tolerance. Keep that low. Just at zero. Um, and it can change some other things here. But the one that's important to us is this length value. So we can animate this over time and have it draw on. Now how it decides where this starts, I'm not actually sure if there's a way to change the start position of this. I'm just checking this and no, nope, so there's no way to do that. So maybe there is a way to change this over time, but I'm not sure, or change the start position. I'm not sure. Um, but at least we could animate the length to get the effect that we want. So using Vegas, um, we can do just this. Now, what if you have a slightly different situation where you wanted to highlight this ball by putting a um, stroke around it but you rendered both of these things out together, right? So if we try to put the Vegas effect on here, I'm just going to delete this and create it again. So if we just create the Vegas effect and segments, we'll change the image contours to the name of this layer. And not intensity, but alpha number of segments down to one and can make this bigger increase the hardness increase the end opacity and we can get something like this and if we play the animation we get a stroke around both of these things and you know maybe that's what you want I'm not sure. But if you don't, then you can still place it just around this object if you took a little care in your rendering and added a crypto mat. So I've mentioned in other videos that whenever I render out of Maya, I always add a crypto mat AOV from Arnold, um, either an object or material, along with a Z depth pass. And in this case, I added a crypto mat. So let's just delete this Vegas layer so we can see what we're doing and I'm just going to duplicate this layer and I'll add a crypto mat effect so again you have to add the crypto mat in your render from Maya or from wherever you're rendering from uh, in order for this information to be in the 
merged EXR file. If I click on here, I can choose layer crypto object. And what CryptoMet does is if the information is in the EXR, it gives a false color to every different object in the scene. And then if I click on one of them, it makes a mask for that object. So the output here, I can turn to mat only. So now we can see the mat. And if we just play the animation where it goes behind the torus, you can see the mat is cut off. So we can use that information to draw the stroke only on the parts where the ball is. So I'm just going to hide this layer. Go back to the color layer here. Let me just rename this one. I'll call it ball mat. Go back to the RGB layer here and we'll add a Vegas effect. And again, I'll just go through the setup so you can see. So image contours. Now something that's going to be different, which layer do we want to use? We want to use the ball mat layer here. And we want to use not just source, but mask or effects and masks, because it has to reference the crypto mat effect. Channel is not intensity, but ah, maybe it is intensity. Yes. Yeah, so when I go to alpha, you can see it's drawing it around the edge. So in this case, we can use probably lightness would work yet. Yeah. So lightness is just finding if we look at the layer again, it's just drawing the Vegas stroke around the contrast between the light and dark here. You can just see it here, so I'll make it a bit bigger so it's more obvious. Change the color to white. Change the number of segments to one. And Increase the hardness to one and also change the end opacity to one. It's a little bit thick. Go to five. Now when we play our animation, you have the stroke only around the ball. And we could still animate the length if we want to. This mobar is driving me crazy. So let's just set a keyframe on length and set that to zero. Then over time, we'll have that draw up to one. And now if we play our animation, that draws in. So there you go. Uh, a couple of different ways to add a stroke to something. The easiest way, if you have a rendered image that has an alpha channel around it, go to layer, layer styles, and add a stroke, and it will respect that alpha channel and draw the stroke there. But you can't have it draw in over time, except for opacity. Instead, if you need that kind of control, use the Vegas effect. And if you need to put it only on one object in your scene and you had the foresight to render out a crypto mat, then you can use the Vegas um, uh, and use and point it at a crypto mat matted layer to apply the stroke selectively. There you go. Hope that's helpful. Let me know how it goes.